from Rhode Island, uh, W1ZY calling CQ. CQ40, W1. W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, standing by. Sir, Golf Whiskey 2. Golf Whiskey 2, is that right? CQ40, W1 Zulu Yankee. Golf Whiskey 3, Hotel Alpha Kilo. CQ calling CQ. W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. W1 Zulu Yankee calling CQ40. CQ40 meters. W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. In Rhode Island. Calling CQ40. CQ40 meters. W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. In Rhode Island. Calling CQ40. Standing by. At your three Yankees, Denmark X ray. I'm okay, thank you, Bill. Um, I'm going QRT here, but I saw you spotted on my cluster, so I thought I'd come up and say hello. Getting late here, it's five to midnight, and uh, I bowed to uh, my uh, partner that I'd be in bed by uh, midnight, so uh, I got five minutes, haven't I? Uh, here as we uh, enter into uh, sunset and uh, one hell of a uh, beautiful signal coming through. It's nice to hear because I know there's a uh, good propagation over. Yeah, yeah, it's good tonight. I've worked a lot of guys with the dipoles and uh, five RVs and things have been down, down the band a little bit and uh, it's been very, very excellent. So uh, you've got a good evening of uh, the Xing ahead uh, of you, Bill. I've got running the Tentec Orion this evening and uh, 500 watts to the 2 le Ultra Beam. And uh, had a lovely Easter, and uh, then the weather turned pants for a while. It started blowing and uh, raining and so forth. A terrible um, day before yesterday. I thought uh, the tower was going to come down. It was really blowy, very unusual for this time of year. But uh, you know, unusual weather patterns are uh, something we're going to get used to. I think. No, seven three, Bill. All the best, and uh, you'll work loads of uh, guys, I'm sure. W one said why. GW3YDX. All right, GW3YDX, W1 said why. Uh, very good. I logged you in wrong. Uh, uh, just a hell of a signal coming through uh, tonight, and uh, uh, as always. All right, uh, 73s, and uh, uh, great to hear you. I, by the way, I've been uh, uh, reading up and watching uh, BBC things on the history of Britain, and uh, we're uh, doing the... Um, Got on this kick uh, of the uh, British uh, crown, uh, <laughs> the War of the Roses and all that kind of stuff and everything coming up before that. Uh, so uh, enjoying that uh, stuff and starting to understand all the different uh, provinces and towns and, uh, and so forth. So it's uh, quite, uh, quite fascinating. 73s, uh, and have a good uh, week coming up, uh, Ron. Uh, GW3YDX, W1 said what? Yeah, okay, Bill. Lots of heads rolling, weren't there? And a very, very bloody and uh, brutal time, but, uh, you know, that's what happens with the, uh, the foundations of a country, isn't it? I think you had a bit, didn't you, after the tea party, as far as I remember. 73s, Bill. See you later. GW3YDX, no QRT. Good night. Absolutely. It's incredible. 73s, uh, W1 said what? Italy Zulu 8, Delta Echo Papa, W1ZY, good evening to you. Uh, you're about at 59. Uh, let me look at the meter, over. Okay, PSAB, nice to meet you again on 40. The 5 by 9 plus 10 booming signal, 5 by 9 plus 10 dB over 9 bill. W1ZY from IDM, over, over. All right, I said a DEP, W1 said Y. Uh, uh, Alfredo, you are about 2 or 3 dB over S9. 59 plus a 2 or 3 dB. A very nice signal, Alfredo, over. Okay, Houston, just now. I am running with ICOM Transceiver, ICOM India Charlie 7700. 
using desk microphone ITO Sugar Mic 14 or 200 watt in the antennas of the rotary dipole by OPTB antenna now giving for your direction and about 30 meters high on the top of, of my tower. Anyway, Bilda, back to you again, W1ZY from IZ8 DEP, over over. All right, always a beautiful signal coming from you in that uh, beautiful rotary dipole, uh, Alfredo. Uh, grazie for the QSO, 73s, uh, Italy, Zulu 8, Delta, Echo, Papa, W1, ZY, 73. Uh, the Bravo, Sierra, Tango. Uh, Roger, uh, Delta Golf 7, Bravo Sugar, uh, Bravo Sugar Tango, W1ZY, you're 5758, a 5758 into Rhode Island, over. Delta Golf 7, Bravo Sugar Tango, uh, I think it's uh, Tom, uh, go ahead, over. Maybe you have a bit better copy now, you're 10 over 9 in the peak, Bill. The name is Tom, we got some contact before. Tom is the name near Bremen in northwestern Germany. And uh, if I call in, I'm using 100 watts, 90, approximately 90 watts, I will say. And uh, now I switched on my, my phone in your amplifier about uh, 350, 400 watts in a moment now into my inverted V dipole. So uh, that too, but Delta Golf 7, Bravo Sugar Tango listening, over. All right, Delta Golf 7, uh, Bravo Sugar Tango, W1ZY, you're 5859, 5859, Tom, uh, no problems to copy as we uh, enter into sunset on a overcast day here in Rhode Island. Uh, Delta Golf 7, Bravo Sugar Tango, W1 said what? Yeah, Roger, very good, Bill. Yeah, you are 5, my plus 5 uh, to 10 dB. 5, so picking 10 dB and a good audio, no problem. Yeah, WX over here today is quite changeable. We got some rain showers and uh, temperature is going down. Uh, we, we got about 12 degrees Celsius uh, on the daytime today. A few days ago, we got uh, much more higher temperatures with 25 degrees and sunshine blue sky. But in the moment, only 12 degrees today and uh, overcast, some rain showers, a little bit windy. Okay, it's more April weather in the moment over here. Okay, so nice to meet you again. Uh, before I go pure teen, I'm going to bed. Thank you for the short contact. Always a pleasure to meet you. And uh, I wish you a very good uh, evening. Uh, good night from my end. Good DX, and I look forward to see you soon again. It's always a pleasure. W1ZY at DG7. BFT listening. Back to you, over. All right, very good. Uh, Delta Golf 7, Bravo Sugar Tango, W1ZY. Uh, that sounds more uh, more uh, like the correct uh, correct weather, um, Tom. HI. <laughs> I heard uh, from some other um, German contacts about that 25-degree uh, weather that you had uh, for a while there, and it was uh, a little bit uh, a little bit too much, HI. So it uh, looks like you're back down to uh, normal temperatures. All right, 73s, and, and, and thank you for um, uh, for picking me up here. I know it's late, and I appreciate the contact. Delta Golf 7, uh, Bravo Sugar Tango, W1, said what? Yeah, Roger, Roger, man. Yeah, you're right. It's dry. It's very dry outside there. We need the rain. Okay. Anyway, 73s, good to DJ uh, 7 Bravo Sugar Tango Purity. Bye-bye. 73s, uh, W1, said what? Delta Lima 1, Sierra. Delta Lima 1, is it Kilo Whiskey Sierra? Yes, sir. I'm going to say thank you very much, William. Delta Lima 1, Kilo Whiskey Sugar, location West of Germany. The name is Paul Whiskey, Ask Lima Lima. Is that all, Joe William? Go ahead. Roger Wall, uh, good to hear you coming through. You're 59, 5 and 9 into Rhode Island. And uh, you have the name correct as William or Bill, uh, either one. They're running about uh, 500 watts into two verticals. Uh, Delta Lima 1 Kilo Whiskey Sugar, W1 said what? The ball is on my point in all the way, Germany, Laura Williams. I looked at the QSS of Tommy and who was in for a long time. 
showed uh, uh, some previous uh, contacts uh, well, for, uh, HI. <laughs> it's been uh, quite a while. And uh, what is your working condition, uh, Wall Lover? I work with the family uh, with all the hammer plus output. Hammer plus the, the equipment is an uh, IC746. And there's a long wire antenna. A long wire antenna about uh, 65 meters. And uh, uh, 50 meters higher. And the couple, you know? Well, it's uh, working uh, very nicely here tonight. Uh, we're coming into uh, sunset, I believe. The uh, sky is overcast, uh, but I'm starting to see some uh, some uh, changes in the color of uh, the lighter parts of the uh, of the overcast. <laughs> That's the best I could see. Uh, well, yeah, it looks like we have nice conditions here uh, tonight. And again, we're really happy to uh, to work you coming through so nicely uh, into uh, Rhode Island. 73, thank you for the call, and it's also good to hear you again after uh, so many uh, so many months, so many years. Uh, Delta Lima 1, Kilo Whiskey Sugar, W1 said Y. Okay, thank you very much, and good luck for you and your family. Our best to you and family, and God bless you. Bye-bye for now, and 73, and take care. 73 is 59, uh, W1 said Y, calling CQ. Again, W1 Zulu Yankee. Echo Alpha 5 Delta Gold Papa. Echo Alpha 5 Delta Gold Papa. Echo Alpha 5 Delta Golf Papa. W1 Zulu Yankee. You're 58 in Rhode Island. Over. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. My report control in Valencia. Valencia, capital city, West Mediterranean. 5x8, 5x9. My personal name. Miguel, Michael, report is uh, 59 plus 5, uh, 59 plus 5 uh, on that transmission, so uh, your signal has uh, come up. A beautiful copy. Uh, my name is Bill, and uh, we're running about 500 watts into uh, two verticals, uh, two-phase verticals, uh, the rigs and old uh, TS-830. Uh, Echo Alpha 5, Delta Golf Papa from W1 ZY, over. Thank you very much for this contact and 73, many, many contacts. 73, Bill. Thank you. 73, W1 ZY calling CQ Europe. Uh, the Sugar Victor 1. Sugar Victor 1, Mike, November, November. Uh, good evening to Greece. You're 57, 5 and 7. Over. Okay, thank you for the 57. And again, my name is Bill. Sugar Victor 1, Mexico, Norway, Norway. W1, Zulu Yankee. Over. Calling CQ into Europe from W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. Uh, the Lima, Mexico radio. Uh, the Lima, Mexico radio. Oh, what is your call sign? Okay, Mexico Zero, Lima, Mexico Radio, you're 58 to 5 and 8 in Rhode Island. Over. All right, thank you. What is your antenna? What is your antenna? Over. Q, 
WQSL, uh, Dorothy. Uh, again, my name is Bill Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. You're uh, coming through very nicely, 5859. So it's good to copy you. We're running about uh, 500 watts, and the antenna is uh, two verticals, uh, phased verticals. Uh, so good to hear you coming through. Uh, Mike Zero, Lima Mike Radio, W1 said what? Okay, good night, Dorothy, and uh, 73 is from Rhode Island, uh, CQ, W1, Zulu, Yankee. Yeah, calling CQ, W1, Zanzibar, Zanzibar, Yokohama. Standing by. Yankee Lima 3, Golf Uniform. Yankee Lima 3, Golf United, you're 5 and 8, over. Yankee Lima 3, Golf United, you're 58. Oh, Roger, Roger. Uh, unbelievable, Unbe unbelievable, Bill. Thank you. You're 4 and 5, 4 and 5, 4 and 5. Thank you. And what is your antenna? What is your antenna? Over. My antenna is just a long wire, long wire, 12 meters up, 12 meters up, long wire. Power is 100 watts, 100 watts. Over. All right, very good. Uh, I think it's uh, Marcus. My name is Bill. QTH is Rhode Island. Radio Italy, Rhode Island. 73s, thank you for the contact. Yankee Lima 3, Golf United, W1 Zulu Yankee. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Bill. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable to yourself for me. 73 to Rhode Island, uh, Whiskey Man Zulu Yankee, Yankee Lima 3, Golf Uniform. 73, W1 Zulu Yankee, calling CQ into Europe. Standing by. CQ DX, W1 Zulu Yankee, calling CQ Europe. W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. Standing by. <laughs> Echo Alpha 4, Echo Oscar, W1 Zulu Yankee, uh, good evening, you're 58, 5 and 8 in Rhode Island, and my name is Bill, Bravo, India, Lima, Lima, over. All right, very good, George, and good to hear you coming through. Again, my name is Bill, Bravo, India, Lima, Lima, and my QTH is Rhode Island, Radio Italy, Rhode Island. And a good signal from you uh, coming through, uh, 5 by 8, uh, George. 73 from Rhode Island, Echo Alpha 4, uh, Echo Oscar, W1, Zulu Yankee, 73. Seventy threes, W one said Y calling CQ Europe. Mike, uh, there's a Mike Zero. Uh, stand by the Mike Seven uh, station. Go ahead. Uh, the Mexico Seven station. Go ahead. Yeah, negative Mexico, Gulf 7, Gulf 7, Oscar, Echo Delta, Q4. Yeah, uh, George 7, Oscar, Echo Delta, you're 59 into Rhode Island, a beautiful signal, uh, uh, go ahead, over. Yeah, Whiskey 1, Zulu, Yankee, Gulf 7, Oscar, Echo Delta. Yeah, did you have a quick QSO with my wife a few minutes ago, uh, Dolphin? She's a little bit nervous on HF. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Not so good on 
My already were very good. Uh, I, I, think, I guess that was Dorothy uh, uh, with the uh, previous QSO. She had a good uh, signal, signal coming through. Signal coming through. And uh, as loud as you are, uh, H.I. Can you give me your name for my log? Over. George 7, Oscar Echo Delta, W1ZY, beautiful. Uh, Richard, uh, King Richard, uh, very good. <laughs> and uh, coming through very nicely, uh, both you and Dorothy, uh, both uh, putting in good signals here uh, tonight. Uh, we're running about uh, 500 watts, and uh, the antenna is a pair of phased verticals, two verticals uh, right on the ocean front here in southern Rhode Island, uh, where we're going through the uh, gray line right now. So uh, hopefully um, the band, the propagation will continue, hopefully, uh, after, the, uh, after the gray line. Uh, the rig's an old uh, TS-830. Uh, uh, TS 73s, and uh, have a good evening and a good week coming up. George 7, Oscar Echo Delta, W1, said what? All right, good night, uh, Richard and Dorothy uh, in uh, Britain. This is W1 said why in Rhode Island calling CQ. Is there a uh, couple stations, the uh, Charlie Zulu Zulu? Nine America Five, Charlie Zulu Zulu. Uh, good evening from Rhode Island. You're fifty-seven five and seven in Rhode Island. Over. Coming through. coming through. Uh, you're about a 57. Uh, my working condition is about 500 watts. 500 watts. And the antenna is two verticals. Two verticals beaming uh, northeast, right on the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Good to hear you coming through. And uh, always a pleasure to talk to the 9 Alpha 5s. 9 Alpha 5. Uh, Charlie Zulu Zulu W1 Zulu Yankee over. Okay, Bill. Okay, Bill. Thank you very much for showing your show, Bill. Uh, time uh, here in the Zagreb is rain uh, from the five days and the uh, clothes have um, 10, uh, 15 degrees. It's not uh, good, but it's um, uh, from uh, today, uh, maybe it's just sunshine. <laughs> okay, Bill. Thank you, Bill, uh, from Short QSO 73, and good bye. Bye-bye. Okay, 73 is Boris. Sounds like good uh, spring weather. Good spring weather. 73 is from Rhode Island. 9 Alpha 5, Charlie Zulu Zulu, W1 Zulu Yankee. 73. Is that the Lima Alpha 6 Oscar Hotel Hotel? Lima Alpha 6 Oscar Hotel Delta Portable. W1 Zulu Yankee, uh, good to hear you. You're about a 56, a 5 by 6, a 56 into Rhode Island. And my name is Bill, Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. At our 6 OHD strike stroke portable, W1 said what? Oscar Hotel November, right? 
Lima Alpha 6 Oscar Hotel November. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I think there's a Lima Alpha 6 in there. Uh, standby, standby. Is there a uh, Lima Alpha 6 Oscar Hotel Delta stroke portable? Lima Alpha 6 Oscar Hotel Delta stroke portable? Lima Alpha 6 Oscar Hotel Hotel Alpha Stroke Portable. There we go. We got it that time. Go ahead. Over. All right, Lima Alpha 6, Oscar Hotel Alpha Stroke Portable, W1 Zulu Yankee. Very good, uh, Chris. I do also hear the uh, station calling CQ uh, here for some reason. I guess he can't hear me or it's just bad operating pract uh, practices. We're running about 500 watts and uh, two verticals. And uh, we're right on the ocean front. And you're about a 56, about a 5 by 6. So it's good to hear you coming through. Lima Alpha 6, Oscar Hotel Alpha Stroke Portable, W1 Zulu Yankee. One meters above ground, one wavelength. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty impressive height, and uh, looks like it's uh, coming through in good form. If people don't transmit on the frequency uh, during the QSO, very, very nice. And uh, all right. Well, that's a very big height above the ground, uh, Chris, and it's. Uh, working quite nicely. Good copy on the frequency. As long as uh, people uh, don't transmit H5. <laughs> Operating practices are going uh, downhill here over the last, uh, I don't know, 10 years, 20 years maybe. 73s and tux go to ha, tux for heligit prata. Lima Alpha 6, Oscar Hotel Alpha, stroke portable, 40 watts, W1 Zulu Yankee. In Europe, standing by. Is there a uh, four? A um, is there a um, a British? I mean, a uh, Israel Israeli station on frequency W one said what?
Uh, in the noise, uh, CQ W1 said, why uh, standing by? Two Echo Zero, Sugar Bravo. Yeah, good to hear you. Uh, two Echo Zero, Sugar Bravo Tango, W1ZY. Uh, you're about a 58 to 9. Uh, very good signal tonight. Over. Oh, very good. And how did you come on come into that? Over. Alrighty, well, uh, that's good. Always good to hear uh, somebody with a uh, a new ch a new uh, rig on the RHI. Uh, we're still using the uh, TS830 over here, uh, about 500 watts, and it looks like it's a uh, sunset coming up, or it is uh, underway. I can look out to the horizon and see some pink, a pinkish tint to the overcast uh, sky. <laughs> we're back to having overcast uh, weather. Hey, good to hear you. I don't have your name uh, in my log, and QRZ is not popping it up, so maybe you could give that to me so I could type it in. Uh, two Echo Zero Sugar Bravo Tango, W1 said what? That's what I, I, I thought that in my mind, because I remember asking you before, and I appreciate that, Tom. All right, enjoy the new rig and, uh, and the new receive capabilities that I assume that it uh, affords you. Uh, 73s, 2 Echo Zero, Sugar Bravo, Tango, W1, said what? Seventy three CQ, W1, said what? Uh, we have people whistling and somebody calling CQ and uh, someone actually responding to my call. Uh, once again, this is W1 said why, looking at Europe, standing by. W1 Zulu Whiskey calling Sierra Papa 5, Sierra Sierra Quebec. All right, stand by, Europe, uh, uh, Poland, uh, stand by, you're very loud. Uh, Victor Kilo 6, uh, uh, Victor Kilo 6 station, go ahead, over. All right, very good, you're 58 uh, coming through, uh, quite a nice signal and uh, quite uh, a nice uh, surprise to hear you coming through, over. Yeah, definitely. Uh, some of them are loud tonight, uh, Bob. Uh, sometimes they're not. Uh, uh, sometimes it's not difficult to hear you guys. Uh, but uh, tonight there's some some loud ones coming through. Uh, yeah, we're at uh, basically sunset over here, local times about uh, 7:30 p.m. Uh, Bob, on an overcast afternoon. Over. Roger, you're just uh, you're just getting the daylight. You've had the daylight for about a oh, lot about 40 minutes or so. Okay. <laughs> and uh, what are you running over there, Bob? I forgot. Over. The uh, Delta Loop producing the superior signal. Over. Uh, 
are. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, this is an interesting uh, opening here. And uh, one more question is: uh, Is that delta loop uh, quieter on receive than the two half uh, half waves in phase? Um, Bob, over. Incredible. Very, very good. I had to uh, stand up uh, during your transmission because uh, there's a little bit of sunlight peeking through the cloud cover, and I had to get up and look at it out the window, uh, uh, Bob, H.I. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's odd that the uh, Delta Loop is not uh, 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 as quiet as the uh, two half, uh, half waves. Uh, one would think that it would be uh, quieter. That's the uh, normal uh, thing that we read about, and I experienced that myself with the uh, Delta Loops that I put up. Uh, they're always uh, nice and quiet, and uh, signals may be a little bit lower on them, but uh, the noise floor is so much lower than that uh, that it's a very enjoyable uh, antenna. I used one of those in Brooklyn uh, one time uh, in a uh, in a back lot that was a very small place uh, on 40 meters. I had to fold it back onto itself uh, off the apex at the top uh, to get it uh, to resonate. It wasn't enough room, but it worked pretty nicely. Uh, anyway, over here, about 500 watts, two verticals uh, right on the ocean, and we're looking to the northeast right now, uh, hence the uh, long path. Uh, Victor Kilo 6, Kilo Radio Charlie, W1ZY. Very good, uh, 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 and <laughs> uh, you can never tell. Uh, never tell, especially with these um, uh, with these uh, these long path openings. Hey, seventy uh, threes, and uh, again, it's just fascinating to see the sun uh, peeking through uh, the, the uh, clouds on the horizon right before it sets, uh, because we haven't seen the sun in several days, with the exception of yesterday. Uh, so it's uh, very, uh, uh, very, uh, very enjoyable. 73s, and uh, have a good week coming up. Uh, Victor Kilo, 6 Kilo, Radio Charlie, W1, said what? Uh, 73 uh, Bob and uh, God uh, that's a that's a great uh, uh, image in my mind those picture perfect weather down there in uh, in uh, Victor Kilo land incredible alrighty uh, 73 uh, from uh, Mantutic, uh Rhode Island VK6 KRC long path W1 said why 73 W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, looking at Victor Kilo, Long Path, and Europe, calling CQ, W1 ZY, standing by. Sierra Papa 5, Sierra Sierra Quebec. I'm sorry, uh, I forgot about you, uh, Sugar Papa 5, uh, Sierra Sierra Quebec, you're, you're 59, that's just a huge signal into Rhode Island, and uh, thank you for standing by. 
Uh, Sugar Papa 5, uh, Sugar Sugar Quebec, W1 said what? W1, uh, uh, Zulu, Yankee, Quebec, Zulu, Papa 5, Sugar Sugar Quebec. Uh, nice to meet you, uh, your signal 5 by 9. My name is Sławek, my name is Sławek from Warsaw, Poland. Uh, Bye to all right, very good. You're uh, 10 dB over, 5, 9 plus 10. Just a huge signal here, uh, Slavic. Uh, again, my name is Bill. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. And you have a, a big signal coming in. I'm running about 500 watts, and the antenna is two verticals, uh, two verticals beaming uh, uh, to the northeast. Sugar Papa 5, Sugar Sugar Quebec, uh, W1 Zulu Yankee, over. W1 uh, Zulu Yankee, Sierra Papa 5, Sierra Sierra Quebec. Okay, um, Bill, my antenna is only dipole. My antenna is only dipole. My power is uh, 500 watts. Uh, 500 watts. Um, uh, your signal is uh, very big, uh, very good signal, Bill. Thank you very much for the contact. 73, uh, maybe uh, see you again. I hope so. Uh, I hope so, uh, Sonic, uh, HI. Uh, 73s, and again, you have a uh, beautiful um, uh, beautiful signal coming through uh, tonight uh, into my QTH. Uh, sugar Papa 5, uh, Sugar Sugar Quebec, W1 said why. Uh, uh, Jean Dobry. Uh, 73, thank you very much, Bill. 73s, W1, Zanzibar, Yokohama, standing by. Is that United Alpha 6, uh, Bravo, Charlie, Norway? Uh, QSL, you are 59 plus 5. Uh, 59 plus 5, Nick, uh, big signal, over. QSL, uh, 5 9 plus 5, uh, beautiful signal, Nick, over. QSL, it's a big antenna in a beautiful signal. My antenna is two verticals, two verticals, uh, 500 watts. UA6, Bravo, Charlie, Norway, W1, said what? Pasiba, uh, Paka, CQ, W1, said what? Uh, the Sugar Papa Station. Sugar Papa 3 something India Whiskey, you're 5758, over. Uh, thank you for the 59. Can you repeat your call sign? It's Sugar Papa 3, uh, Juliet India Whiskey. Is that correct? QSL, Sugar Papa 3, uh, United India Whiskey, W1 said why. Again, my name is Bill, Bravo India Lima Lima, and I'm located in Rhode Island, year 5758. Sugar Papa 3, United India Whiskey, W1 said what? Okay, uh, Yurik and uh, uh, Jinkoya for the QSO. A Jin uh, Dobri, Sugar Papa 3, United India Whiskey, W1 said what? Bye-bye. CQ, W1 said what? Uh, the Oscar Echo 3. Oscar Echo 3, uh, Papa Foxtrot Sugar, W1 Zulu Yankee. You're 58, uh, 5 and 8 in Rhode Island. Over. 
All right, a dipole up eight meters of uh, 59, uh, five and nine on peaks. Uh, so a, a beautiful copy coming through. Uh, we're running an old uh, TS830, uh, about 500 watts, and the antenna is uh, two verticals uh, right on the ocean front. A beautiful copy on you uh, coming through tonight. Tonight or at sunset. We're right at sunset right now. And a beautiful pink sky. Sky is coming in beautiful pink. 73s. Thank you so much for the contact, uh, Vredder. Oscar Echo 3. Papa Fox Sugar, W1 Zulu Yankee. Is there a Papa Echo 6? Papa Echo 6? Papa Echo 0 Mexico X-ray, is that right? Roger, Papa Echo Zero, Mike, Juliet X-Ray, you're uh, 58, 5 and 8 in Rhode Island, over. Very good. Magnetic loop, and uh, I believe about uh, 100 watts or so, I would assume. Uh, the entire sky, uh, the sunset has illuminated uh, the entire cloud cover pink. We have an enormous amount of pink and purple illuminating everything here right now for the next uh, minute or so, uh, which is very nice. It's really uh, fantastic, iridescent uh, pink. Uh, we're running uh, 500 watts, and we have two verticals, uh, two homemade verticals uh, right on the ocean, on the uh, south coast of Rhode Island, and it's good to hear you, uh, Loak. Uh, Papa Echo Zero, Mike Juliet X Ray, W1 said what? Very good. Uh, Papa Echo Zero, Mike Juliet X-Ray, W1 said Y. Always good to hear you coming through, and uh, thank you for the contact. Beautiful uh, conditions uh, at this point, and we hope that it continues after the sun goes down here in a couple of minutes. 73, Papa Echo Zero, Mike Juliet X-Ray, W1 said Y, 73. That is correct. That is correct. Over. Seventy three CQ W one Zulu Yokohama. Something is it uh, something number two kilo Bravo? Echo off of two kilo Bravo. You're fifty six fifty seven five six five seven in Rhode Island. Over. All 
right, EA2 Kilo Bravo W1 said, why? Good to hear you coming through. And again, we have this uh, beautiful uh, sunset has uh, abated, and uh, now we are uh, going into the darkness. Uh, Henri, uh, my name is Bill. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. And uh, good to hear you coming through uh, tonight uh, uh, into Rhode Island. Uh, Echo Alpha 2 Kilo Bravo, W1 said by. Uh, go ahead, over. All right, very good, Henri. And again, uh, 57 on the peaks uh, coming through uh, very nicely here into uh, my QTH. Uh, 73s, and uh, we hope to hear you again coming up uh, in the week here. Uh, Echo Alpha 2, Kilo Bravo, W1, said Y, 73. 73. CQ, W1, Zanzibar, Yokohama. Is that Italy, United 8, Delta, Kilo, Zulu? Italy, United 8, Delta Kilo Zulu, is that correct? CQ calling CQ, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. Or something Delta Sierra Sierra? To India, United 8, uh, Delta, Sierra, Sierra, W1, Zulu, Yankee. Thank you for the call. Uh, you're about a uh, 5 and 6, a 56, 5 and 6, over. Thank you for the contact, and all the best. Uh, thank you. Uh, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, calling CQ, standing by. Uh, CQ, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. George 3, Whiskey Radio, India. I think it's Paul. Uh, you're about at 57, uh, 58, over. Uh, very good, Paul. You're peaking uh, S8, uh, 5 and 8 on uh, that transmission. And uh, we just had our sunset. It's still uh, glowing out towards the horizon to the west uh, with a heavy uh, overcast uh, cover, but there is a break uh, in the skies uh, way out there, and hopefully that will blow over us here over the next uh, hour or so. Again, running 500 watts to the two verticals, and uh, really, uh, I think, uh, mediocre conditions uh, to Europe uh, uh, this uh, late afternoon. George 3, Whiskey Radio India, W1ZY. W1ZY, George 3, Whiskey Radio Italy. Uh, well, you're coming through, you're very, you're very strong. I mean, uh, the signal's on the back of this time of uh, 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 
Pleasure to uh, hear your signals and uh, exchange uh, uh, comments, uh, Paul. Always a pleasure. 73s, and I uh, hope to hear that signal uh, again maybe tomorrow under uh, better conditions. George 3, Whiskey Radio India, W1 said what? See you tomorrow, W1 said what? I think we're going to turn over to the west, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, W1ZY calling CQ, looking stateside, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, W1ZY in Rhode Island calling CQ 40 meters, looking uh, to the west from W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, W1ZY in Rhode Island calling CQ 40 W1, Zanzibar, Yokohama. Standing by. W1, Zanzibar, Yokohama. Here, Lima, Union 4, Victor Lima. Do you copy, Bill? Roger, uh, Lima, Union 4, Victor Lima. W1, Zulu Yankee. Gracias, uh, Cinco Nueve. You're 59, uh, 5 and 9 in Rhode Island. And uh, beautiful signal coming through uh, tonight. Uh, Juan, uh, Lima Union 4, Victor Lima, W1, Zulu Yankee. L-U-4-D-V-L, W-1-Z-Y. Beautiful signal coming through, uh, uh, Juan. A very loud uh, and uh, beautiful uh, signal from uh, Argentina. 73s, and we talk to you tomorrow. I hope to hear you tomorrow, uh, uh, Juan. Uh, Lima Union 4, Victor Lima, W-1-Z-Y. 73. Yes, until tomorrow, I hope to hear you All right, 73s, uh, hasta la vista, obrigado, uh, thank you. Pronto. CQ calling into uh, the west, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. Calling CQ, standing by. November 1, uniform Juliet. All right, uh, United Japan, stand by. The Echo Mike Echo, go ahead. Beautiful, uh, Bruce, uh, Papa, Yankee, one, Echo, Mike, Echo, W1, ZY. You're 59, a five by nine, a beautiful signal into Rhode Island, Radio Italy, Rhode Island, the smallest state in the U.S. And my name is Bill, Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. I'm running about uh, 500 watts into uh, two verticals, uh, two phased verticals, uh, Bruce, uh, looking southwest. 
Uh, and you have a very nice signal up here uh, with the uh, single vertical, Bruce, in 200 watts. Uh, my compliments. Uh, Papa Yankee 1 Echo, Mike Echo, W1ZY. Uh, Papa Yankee 1, Echo Mike, Echo W1 said, why? Beautiful. And uh, that is a uh, very small island, a very small island that you are on. Uh, <laughs> Bruce, uh, incredible. I'm looking at your QRZ page, and I see the beautiful solar cells and the uh, beautiful uh, vertical with the elevated uh, counterpoise, uh, I assume. A very, very nice job. And then also the uh, vertical next to the ocean, uh, just uh, absolutely fantastic. So I hope that you are, and I can see the coast in the, uh, I can see the uh, uh, South American coast there. I hope that you, are you on the island right now? Are you on the island right now, uh, Bruce? Over. No, I'm not. I'm not. It's my apartment in the city of Sao Paulo, and I'm operating it remotely uh, using the internet over there. The island is very close to the shore. Uh, very good, and uh, while well, you're coming out very nicely from your uh, 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 your home QTH um, uh, in uh, Sao Paulo, uh, I'm uh, trying to look up very quickly the name of a um, uh, a art institute down in uh, yes I C B I E Instituto de Cultura Brasil Italia Europa Institute. And it's uh, friends of mine uh, have an institute uh, down in Sao Paulo and uh, down there, and it's for uh, art students. And uh, we help uh, them uh, raise the money uh, by selling uh, uh, selling um, drawings uh, from uh, someone who was a friend of Fellini's, uh, a friend of his, uh, D'Artagnan is his name, and, and we help them uh, down there. They're friends of ours with a beautiful uh, institute in uh, Sao Paulo, uh, Institute de Cultura Brasil Italia Europa, H-I. <laughs> I-C-B-I-E. Maybe you have uh, heard about them. But again, you have a very nice signal coming up uh, here, Bruce. Uh, again, it's 59 with that uh, uh, home QTH antenna, and I can imagine the adventure of being on the island. Uh, I don't know how you get out there. I guess it would be a, your own boat. Uh, I guess it looks like there's no... Uh, no ferry service out to that little island, uh, Bruce H.I. Gracias, uh, obrigat, uh, Papa Yankee 1, Echo Mike Echo, W1ZY.
All right, very good, Bruce. I do the same thing. I have a portable antenna, a homemade one, and I use the two elevated radials uh, next to the ocean as well. It works. Uh, it works very nicely. Yeah, and if you go uh, in San Paulo, uh, go to the institute. Uh, ask for uh, Pedro, uh, who is the uh, Pedro uh, Italian. He's the uh, director, and tell him you talk to me on the radio, and you will be uh, treated like a king, uh, uh, Bruce. H I. <laughs> Hey, uh, 73, it's uh, great to hear you. Uh, Papa Yankee 1, Echo Mike, Echo W1ZY, Obrigat. Thank you. Uh, is there a November 1, uh, United Japan still here? Over. Roger, Roger, Bill. I don't think you have some good contacts. Yeah, good to hear you, uh, Ted. Uh, you're about a uh, 58 here, uh, so I think the band's going long. Yeah, it was uh, quite fantastic. In fact, there's a, a dark uh, storm cloud, or just dark uh, overcast cl- cover, which is now uh, uh, peeling away. Uh, from the west, and it looks like it's going to be going overhead here in about uh, half an hour, so that'll be very nice. And uh, after that, it's broken clouds. I'm trying to see through the uh, west window. And so finally, we're going to get some clear skies. We ha- we- we've had overcast here uh, basically for over a week, and yesterday was a, was a bright day, uh, but uh, there were a lot of big clouds. Uh, so we're just uh, happy to get some more, uh, some more springtime uh, uh, heat. Uh, <laughs> when the sun is out, uh, it uh, it warms things up here, and uh, we're certainly looking forward to it. But uh, thank you for saying, uh, thank you for standing by. I really appreciate it, Ted. Uh, N one United Japan W one Z one. Seven three, Bill. We'll talk to you later. Seventy threes W one Z Y calling CQ. We're looking west. CQ looking down to South America and the uh, and stateside from W1 San Sabar, Yokohama. I heard a couple of stations kind of in the noise. Something was like a Juliet Sierra Oscar, if I'm imagining correctly. Over. Not going to be able to pull that one out. This is W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, calling CQ. Standing by. A station with the Delta. Uh, the Delta Whiskey, uh, Charlie Delta Whiskey. the antenna the wrong way. Can you repeat your call sign again? I have my antenna turning uh, towards you. Over. Okay. Is that Hotel Zulu uh, 1, Sugar Mike? Oh, okay. Good to hear you. And uh, Masalam, uh, you are 58, uh, 5 and 8 in Rhode Island. And my name is Bill. Uh, Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. A very nice signal coming through. Hotel Zulu 1, Sugar Mike, W1, Zulu, Yankee. Over. All right, Salah, you are 58, uh, 5 and 8, uh, 58, uh, 5 by 8, over. Okay, Roger, Roger, thank you very much. Okay, it's my pleasure to work here today. I'm not sure if we lost before uh, in four minutes. My luck is not working. I'm not sure if you know my PC is down, so I don't, I don't have the uh, luck of working. Maybe I can shoot my luck later on. Uh, whiskey one Zulu Yankee. 
Whiskey One Zulu Yankee, and uh, I'm running 500 watts, two verticals, 500 watts, two verticals, and a beautiful signal from you, uh, Salah. Uh, Hotel Zulu One Sugar Mike W1 Zulu Yankee, over. Uh, 22, uh, 22, what is your power, uh, what is your power, Salah, over? All right, 22 watts, 22 watts and a step IR beam. Uh, well, that's just fantastic, absolutely uh, fantastic uh, uh, signal. Uh, you're a QRP station, uh, Salah, at that level in my book, HI. Well, uh, 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 Shukran, and I tell you, a beautiful signal. Hotel, Hotel Zulu One, Sugar Mike, W1, said what? Okay, Roger, thank you so much uh, for the uh, contact. QSL, just incredible. A beautiful uh, copy. And we just had uh, sunset. Uh, we just had the sunset. The local time is 8 p.m. 2000 local time, uh, uh, Salah. 73s, uh, Masalam, and uh, thank you so much uh, for the uh, for the contact. Hotel Zulu One Sugar Mike W One Zulu Yankee. Looking uh, back to coming back to the west, uh, but looking east. W One said what? Back to the West. W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, W1 Zulu Yankee calling CQ40, standing by. CQ40, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama in Rhode Island calling CQ40, standing by. CQ and uh, down into South America from W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. Whiskey 1 Zanzibar, Yokohama calling CQ, looking into South America from W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. W1ZY, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama in Rhode Island calling CQ. Uh, CQ into uh, South America from W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, calling CQ, standing by. Okay, uh, many stations calling. Uh, again, the QRZ, W1 Zulu Yankee. Uh, is that Juliet 69 Bravo Oscar? You're five and eight, uh, 58 in Rhode Island, and my name is Bill, over. All right, very good. Uh, somebody's uh, tuning up, uh, but good to hear you coming through. Again, my name is Bill, and we're located in Rhode Island, Radio Italy. Are running about 500 watts to two verticals, and it looks like we have some interesting uh, propagation down there to the south. Uh, thank you for the call, Juliet 69 Bravo Oscar W1ZY. <laughs> Is that Juliet 69 Bravo Bravo? <laughs> All right, Juliet, let me re-log you in. Uh, Juliet 69 Bravo Bravo. Very good. Now we got it coming in. And again, you're coming in at 59 um, uh, Rosemond. Uh, 73s, thank you for the uh, uh, signal report from the Caribbean. Juliet 69 Bravo Bravo, W1 said what? <laughs> Seventy-three CQ W1 ZY looking to the southwest. 
<laughs> Victor Echo 3, Hotel Whiskey Kilo. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Hotel Whiskey Kilo, W1ZY. Big signal coming through. I uh, got to look at the meter, uh, but uh, good to hear you. I think again, uh, my name's Bill, and we're in Rhode Island. And you're well over the nine. Victor Echo 3, Hotel Whiskey Kilo, W1ZY. Uh, W1ZY, V3WK, the name here is Jim, Julia, India, Mike. And you're coming in at about plus 30, and uh, just a great signal up here, so... Uh, you're, you're heading north as well as south. Yes, the antenna has a very broad forward lobe, uh, Jim. You're uh, 30 dB over. Over. Uh, yeah, that's about where you are. I'm running an IC7600 here with a PW1 amplifier. I'm putting out about 700 watts right now. And uh, so that's the station here uh, into a... Um, just a half-wave dipole, about uh, 50 feet up. All righty. Well, that certainly is a banging in here tonight. I think we're going to go through this period where there's some colossal signals coming in locally. But uh, big signal. It sounds like you're uh, hitting the ALC a little bit too hard. There's some artifacts in the audio. Um, a little clipping, and uh, it uh, on the voice peaks, it sounds like uh, something is uh, powering back uh, to accommodate the voice peaks. Uh, but I uh, don't know if that's uh, an adjustment that you can make. But uh, a colossal signal coming through. Victor Echo 3, Hotel Whiskey Kilo, W1ZY. Okay. Well, I get on here and I get the mic too darn close, so I'm told. So I'll back off about two inches and see if that helps any. All right. Well, I think, it's, uh, I think it sounds like the, uh, the drive to the amplifier and the ALC is uh, uh, pumping it back or something like that. Anyway, uh, good to hear you, and a huge signal uh, coming through, Jim. Just fantastic. Uh, VE3HWK, W1Z1. Okay. Well, I'll let you see if you can catch some more signals there. Uh, there was a few other people calling, so I'll say 7-3, and you have a great evening. Uh, good luck on your uh, call there, Bill. Uh, W1ZY, VE3HWK, 7-3, and you have a great evening. Uh, good evening to you, Jim, and a good week coming up. 73 CQ W1 said what? Okay, there's a Yankee something calling, uh, Whiskey Alpha 4 or something? Yes, Whiskey Alpha 4 Yankee Lima. Whiskey Alpha 4 Yankee Lima, W1 Zulu Yankee. Good to hear you coming through. You're quite loud. You're 59 plus 5 into Rhode Island. And my name is Bill. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. Uh, Whiskey Alpha 4, Yankee, Lima, uh, W1, said Y, over. All right, good to hear you, Dawn, and uh, you're coming through quite nicely, 59. Uh, again, uh, I'm running about 500 watts. And the antenna is uh, two verticals, uh, 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 two phase verticals. Uh, what do you? Uh, what's your? Uh, r what are you running down there, uh, uh, Dawn? Over. I am running the UTS two All right. Well, that that's making it up here quite nicely. We just had our sunset, and we're still getting some. Uh, some glow off of the horizon, and uh, a very big, huge overcast sky is now breaking to the uh, west. Uh, we've got clear blue skies to the west, and everything else is pitch black dark up in the uh, up in the heavens uh, because of the clouds. Hey, uh, 73s, and uh, have a nice week coming up. I thank you for the call. Whiskey Alpha 4, Yankee Lima, W1ZY. Thank you, Don. Seventy three CQ W one said what? All right, uh, many calling. Is there a Victor Echo one Charlie Mike Delta? Beautiful copy on you, buddy. Five and twenty over here this evening. See what's up? All right, good to hear you. I just beamed up at you. You're about twenty over nine, Corey. Over. Wow, twenty over nine. Absolutely amazing. 
Uh, you're, I just turned the antenna up towards you. Uh, big signal, uh, Corey, over. I can hear the little one in the background, over. Wow, that must be real good audio, is I don't know how good it's coming across to you there, Bill, but uh, no, you're blowing smoke tonight there, buddy. Absolutely insane um, audio out of that radio there. And uh, I see the band uh, is picking up quite a bit there this evening now, Bill. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I, I stopped going uh, northeast, uh, Corey, and flipped over to the west. And we have uh, everything dialed down uh, uh, here uh, to try to improve the quality. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, set the thing up. And I think less is uh, less is more. <laughs> Thanks for the report. Uh, VE1, Charlie Mike Delta, W1ZY. Yep, 73 is a bell as always, buddy. VE1CMD. And uh, looking out to the west, W1ZY. Whiskey Bravo 2, Uniform Alpha Quebec, WB2UAQ. WB2UAQ, you're 59, over. Very good, Bill. You got a good signal in there. You're 20 over. You're Rochester, New York. Name is Pete. Echo, back to you, Bill. Good to hear you, Pete. Uh, what are you running up there, Robert? 100 watts here. 100 watts CEP to a uh, uh, NFED 67 speed of the wire at about 45 degrees uh, there, Bill. All right, very good. You got one of those un uns on the end of it? Excellent. Well, it's uh, working quite nicely here. I think the uh, band is uh, uh, just about to go long, uh, but we're very happy to hear you as it uh, as it uh, extends itself, uh, Peter. 73, thank you for the nice report. Uh, Whiskey Bravo 2, United Alpha Quebec, W1ZY. Well, W1ZY, WBTU, AQ out. Fine. All right, 73, CQ, W1ZY. W1, ZY. W1, ZY. There's a KR2PW, is that right? Uh, still didn't get it. Uh, you're about a 57, 57 in Rhode Island, over. Very good. Can you repeat your call for me, over? Kilo, Radio 2 Whiskey. Right. All right, very good. And uh, your name again for my log. Uh, my name is Bill. Uh, over. Uh, All righty, very good. I think you said Chris. Uh, good to uh, hear you coming through. Again, we're up here on, in uh, southern Rhode Island, Chris, and uh, just uh, going through sunset, heading into Gray Line. 73s, and have a good week coming up. Kilo Radio 2 Whiskey, W1 ZY. Uh, 73s, uh, CQ looking into South America, stateside, W1 ZY. CQ looking southwest into uh, U.S. and um, South America, W1 Zulu Yankee. Uh, the Delta Zero Papa Echo, QRP, you're about a 58 to 9, over. Very good, and uh, how many watts are you running, over? Awesome. Uh, what is the extremely efficient antenna that you're using? Over. The extremely efficient antenna is a fan dipole at 28 feet. Over. All right. Uh, again, uh, Gary, you're 5859. Just fantastic. And uh, putting me to shame here with the uh, 500 watts in the uh, two verticals. Uh, uh, just making a beautiful signal back east tonight, uh, Gary. Over. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, appreciate that. That gives me a hint on the propagation. What is your location, uh, Gary? Over. All right. I figured it was Missouri. I I, I guess that H I. All righty. Uh, Seventy threes again. We're in Southern Rhode Island, and we just had our sunset. And I suppose that you're going to get yours here in a moment. Yes. 
very uh, beautiful uh, uh, clearing up of an uh, overcast sky coming in from the west as I speak. Uh, so it's quite a dramatic, uh, very dark sky, except to the west, uh, where you can actually see some, uh, some uh, beautiful uh, clear blue, uh, pink, uh, uh, violet uh, colors. Everything else is pitch black uh, because of a heavy, uh, heavy cloud cover. Hey, uh, 73s and uh, one hell of a nice uh, QRP signal, uh, Gary. Alpha Delta Zero, Papa Echo, W1 said what? Gary, you're good in Colorado, too. Thank you, Colorado. Thank you, Delta. Thank you, Delta. 73s, uh, W1, Sulu Yankee. Uh, the station in Colorado, you have uh, very bad uh, RF uh, distortion, uh, making it in- unintelligible. Um, Whiskey 4, is it uh, uh, United Papa Charlie? Uh, the Whiskey 4 station? Whiskey 4, Alpha Papa Zulu. Hello, Bill. Richard in South Carolina. Hey, Richard. Uh, good to hear you. You're about 10 over 9 uh, tonight. Over. Oh, okay. You're... Uh, you're- you're nine to uh, ten over here in uh, upstate of South Carolina. Beautiful signal as always. Just uh, getting ready for a simplex two meter net at seven thirty or at eight thirty, excuse me. And uh, just wanted to give you a shout. You have a great signal. Seventy three, my friend. W four ATZ. Well, what do you guys do on your? Uh, that really sounds really nice. So, what do you do on your two meter simplex net? Uh, net, Richard, over. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, the uh, net control station. It's the it's the same one every week. He is, uh, and I've got a I've got a new homebrew antenna up. I haven't uh, I haven't tried on the simplex uh, uh, net yet. But he is about twenty. He's twenty to twenty five miles north of me, and he he simply has a. Uh, 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 two meter Yagi on a rotator, and he he, he will rotate it uh, uh, 360 degrees a couple of times, and he'll stop uh, he'll stop about every eight eight uh, he'll stop at a oh every uh, 45 degrees and make calls. And uh, that's just to check the propagation. Is the purpose of the net? It's just a two meter net, no repeaters. It's just ground wave. And what do you guys talk about? Uh, do you, can you guys hear each other, or can you only hear the uh, central station? No, we try to make we try to make contact. You know, with, with the signal reports. And then he uh, he turns. Uh, uh, yeah, he keeps turning. He tries to make as many contacts as he can. That's awesome. It sounds like a lot of fun, and you uh, probably get a lot of neat, neat uh, stations coming in. Opportunity to. Uh, uh, check the uh, the uh, uh, U, uh, VHF uh, propagation. All right, 73s, and thanks for the call, and uh, always a pleasure to hear you. Whiskey 4, Alpha Papa Zulu, W1, said what? Okay, Bill, thanks. W4APZ, 73, W1, said why, W4APZ. 73s, uh, W1, said why, looking South America, stateside, standing by. November 0, Sierra Papa again. Uh, I was the one that had the distortion. Hey, uh, good, uh, good to hear you. A uh, beautiful, clean signal and 59 about five over. Uh, go ahead. Okay, this is Dennis near Golden, Colorado. Um, yeah, you um, didn't really look at the meter, but this Kenwood has got a Santa Claus meter on it, so um, it'd probably give you a big hint if I told you what it was <laughs> once I look at it. Anyway, just finished snowing here and... Um, um, pretty hard, but uh, the clouds have uh, broken up, so we've got some sunshine coming through in the meantime. I'm kind of here. I'm near Golden, Colorado. Name is Dennis. Over. All right, Dennis. Uh, good to hear you coming through. You're peaking uh, uh, 10 over, a little bit more than 10 uh, here into uh, southern Rhode Island. And uh, we just had our sunset, and I'm looking out the window again, and it still is um, sort of like a twilighty. Uh, light. It's still got color in it. Pinks to the horizon, rising up to uh, blue, uh, and then up and beyond. That's to the west, uh, and then to the south, it's pitch black. The uh, cloud cover is uh, immense, and to the east, it's uh, pitch black, uh, artificially so. Uh, we've had cloud cover for, oh my God, it must be a week. I think yesterday we had uh, breaks in the clouds 
uh, some sunshine, but uh, just incredible. So we're very happy to uh, uh, suspect that it's going to be clearing up uh, for tomorrow. Uh, running an old uh, TS830S, about 500 watts, into two homemade verticals, uh, beaming west. Uh, N zero sugar papa out in beautiful Colorado W one Z Y. Okay, W one Z Y N zero S T. Well, uh, you are um, the meter showing thirty five over nine <laughs> on average, but this Kenwood, like I said, is a real Santa Claus. I imagine in a real S meter you'd be about ten over. So the verticals are working well. I've always been a fan of verticals. Um, properly installed, they are wonderful. But um, I'm running a 40-meter extended doubles up here, stretching across the canyon, um, uh, beaming more or less your direction, slightly north of you. And it's fed with 480 feet of 600-ohm uh, lines. The radio isn't too much newer than yours. It's the TS-850. You'll remember that Kenwood TS-850. And um, uh, running a Palstar LA-1K linear amplifier, and the tuner is also a Palstar the uh, AT4K, and I'm actually listening to you on a Palstar speaker as well. I guess you figure out I'm kind of a fan of Palstar. Anyway, doing a nice job out here in the Rocky Mountain West. Over. All right, you too. You're making a great signal back here east, uh, Dennis, uh, with that uh, beautiful equipment and that huge antenna that you've got to string up between, uh, 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 across the canyon, and uh, uh, quite an appreciable feed line up to it using uh, very nice uh, uh, ladder line balance feeders. Yeah, very nice signal. It's uh, nice to know that the propagation is so nice out here to the west, and also knowing that you're still in daylight. Uh, so uh, uh, all uh, very educational for me uh, over here as we uh, slip uh, definitely into the gray line. I was working into the Europe a little bit, and the conditions were not quite uh, very good, uh, comparatively speaking. Uh, so I just flipped the antennas over to the west, changed the phase to the west, and uh, some nice signals coming through. Also, South America has got um, some interesting propagation. Hopeful, hopeful propagation. Hey, uh, 73s, and uh, again, uh, my compliments to that uh, beautiful station that you've set up out there in uh, in beautiful Colorado. I hope that snow. Uh, I suspect the snow doesn't stick, uh, Dennis. N zero sugar papa W one Z Y. Okay, W one Z Y N zero S P. Well, I'm at 9,000 feet here, so most of the time when it snows, it sticks, and there's still quite a bit of snow left uh, from the winter snowpack, but it's been melting because I've been having some sunshine and warm days here. By warm, I mean into the 40s, <laughs> so it's all relative. Uh, curiously, uh, real quick, are those um, are those uh, antennas uh, full-size verticals, and what are you using for a ground plane against them? Uh, yeah, they're both uh, quarter-wave verticals. Uh, they're made out of aluminum tubing. Uh, they've got about 30 radials, uh, quarter wave radials apiece, and they're in a uh, tidal salt marsh right next to the ocean. Uh, so twice a day, uh, it gets uh, the radials get flooded uh, uh, by the um, uh, by the water. Over. Oh my gosh! Well, I don't have to tell you what that's like. I used to live in Florida on the water in the Caloosahatchee, um, and I had my. Uh, um, 35-foot vertical out 100 feet in the water, out of, out in the water on my dock, and I grounded it with uh, copper strapping into the salt water. And that thing worked a miracle. So I imagine you are too. There is nothing, uh, nothing like salt water under your antenna. Horizontal, vertical, whatever. Cats me out. <laughs> and um, I've. Um, Key West and flown a kite and worked the world on 75 meters. And I've, um, yeah, I, there was, there's nothing like it. During the contest on 75 meters, I was blowing the guys in the Northeast with their four square arrays pointed at the, the Middle East. I was blowing them away with my little 35 foot vertical and, and, uh, and 700 watts. That's at the point that they thought I was lying. They thought I had 20 kilowatts up in the garage. I heard them talking about me. They wouldn't talk to me, but because uh, they, they were sure I was bootlegging and lying. And I, I guess I don't have to tell you all that if you're uh, if you're living on the salt marsh, over. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a huge uh, huge difference, uh, huge increase in the signal. The angle comes down for the verticals, a very low angle. 
Hey, uh, Dennis, let me uh, flip the uh, direction on it just to see uh, what the propagation is, what the angle is on this uh, QSO, because you have no QSB on your signal, so I suspect it might be low angle. I'm going to change the phase. Uh, stand by. Uh, this is looking up towards uh, the northeast, looking away uh, from you, Patrick, uh, or Dennis, uh, away from you. I'm back over towards you. Over. Boy, you were, you were copyable, but you were in the noise. <laughs> so that makes a big difference. Probably because this uh, extended double graph is up fairly high. It's up about uh, 60 feet. And uh, well, most of it, it's stretched across the canyon here. Um, I live way up in the mountains and with, we don't have any neighbors or anything. Uh, lots of tall pine trees and uh, varying terrain. So while there is some high angle component to my signal, I'm sure. I'm sure I've got a fairly good... Um, relatively low angle, maybe 30 degrees. So that probably minimizes the number of hops and uh, thereby reduces the uh, uh, fading over. I, I agree. I think this is a low angle uh, pass. Uh, these uh, two verticals, they have a, a significant front to back on the lower, on lower angles. Uh, when you get to the higher angles, it starts to diminish, uh, as you can imagine. It's like a funnel. Uh, the rear end of it is like a funnel. And uh, I, I noticed on receive, uh, listening to you, that you uh, dropped away, you disappear. So I figured it was a lower angle. And uh, and so it's very interesting to note that. Uh, that'll be interesting for when the Pacific comes in. Hopefully there'll be some nice low angle. Hey, uh, 73s, and uh, one beautiful uh, sounding uh, QTH out there, Dennis. N0, sugar, papa, W1, said what? Okay, very good. And one quick question. What kind of amplifier are you using? I'm using a SB221. Oh, okay. That's neat. I like that. All right. You take care, 7-3. Oh, your angle is certainly a lot uh, lower than mine with those verticals. But, uh, boy, that front to back is killer. And I imagine that really helps get rid of the shortwave uh, racket uh, in, in Europe when you want to work this way. And uh, gets rid of all the U.S. clutter when you want to work Europe. So, nice job. 7-3. We'll see you later. Uh, N0ST, Golden, Colorado. All right, hell of a nice signal coming in, uh, Dennis. Uh, 73s, W1s, at what? Uh, the 9 Alpha station, 9 Alpha, go ahead. 9 America. 9 America, what's the call? Yeah, you must change the antenna in my direction, Alpha 3, November, Quebec, W1Z. Well, yeah, you're 59, 5 and 9. And uh, good to hear you uh, coming in. I could hardly hear you uh, talking to the other station. I could hardly hear you. But uh, 59, uh, my friend, HI. Uh, my name is Bill. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. 9 Alpha 3, November, Quebec, W1Z. I want to say hello after a short time. And uh, you're working on on wrong antenna in my direction is big, big different. You are five by nine, and before you were only five by six, five by six. Uh, now you are very loud. And uh, nice to meet you. Name Bono, B O N O, Croatia, to yourself. Roger Bono, and it's good to hear you coming through. Uh, always. Uh a very uh, familiar uh, familiar call sign. Thank you for that report. Uh, very uh, interesting. Uh, very interesting report. Uh, I laugh, uh, Bono, H-I. Uh, thank you so much. 9 Alpha 3, November, Quebec, W1, said what? You are so mean. Nice to meet you. It's a very early morning on my side. It's absolute night. Uh, Ten minutes after the two of clock in night, cannot sleeping in working on radio station. So maybe you looking DX. Uh, nice to meet you, and uh, I want to say hello only. Seventy three from my side. See you. Uh, uh, w one. Uh, 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 ah, I forget something. Sorry. Zulu Yankee. So many things to you again, and see you later. 
I come in time to time overnight on 40 meters band, QSL. QSL, it's always good to hear you when you come on uh, 40 meters of Bono HI. And uh, I was talking to uh, stateside, uh, talking to uh, stateside stations uh, with the antenna pointing the other way, HI. 73s, and uh, have a good week uh, coming up. 9 Alpha 3, November, Quebec, W1, ZY. Many things I'm very satisfied over my vertical antenna, very simple at vertical antenna, and working on the S50,000 Mark V. Uh, big signal, uh, uh, big signal coming in. Uh, two, three, four dB over S9, Bono. So my compliments, over. Okay, boy. Many thanks to you. Nice to meet you and see you. Seventy-three. Seventy-three is good night. Uh, w one Z one. Looking back over to the west. Uh, w one Zanzibar, Yokohama, calling CQ. Looking to the west, uh, southwest, uh, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. My uh, station in the noise, uh, Whiskey One, uh, I don't mean that d dismissively, uh, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. CQ South America and stateside W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama. Something Alpha Sierra. Up negative copy uh, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama calling CQ. Checking out propagation down to South America, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, standing by. I think there's a Papa Yellow station, but you're in the noise. You're way deep in the noise. Uh, one more call, W1 Zanzibar, Yokohama, calling CQ40. Whiskey Zero, Juliet Radio, Juliet, W1ZY, good evening, you're 59, a very nice signal into Rhode Island, and uh, my name is Bill, Bravo, India, Lima, Lima, over. Hey Roger, Bill, you are 5 and 7 uh, here in uh, Waldorf, Maryland, Southern uh, Maryland, over. Very good, uh, thank you, and your name uh, for my log, over. Hey Roger, my name is Bill. All right, Joe, uh, good to uh, hear you again. You're 59 up here in southern Rhode Island, right on the coast. And we're just checking out the uh, propagation here, uh, talking uh, mostly uh, stateside. But uh, I hope that you are uh, you had a good sunset uh, over the last half hour, Joe. Over. Yeah, Roger, uh, it's been a nice day down here uh, today. It's, uh, it was nice and sunny. Yeah, we got a little bit of... A little bit of uh, clouds and a little bit of rain this morning, but uh, cleared up in the afternoon. Over. Very nice. I think I see some of that. We had a uh, sunset with the sun peering through the overcast uh, clouds way out to the west, and since then that clearing of clouds has uh, continued uh, over uh, from the west. So we're hopefully going to have some clear uh, skies uh, maybe tonight, maybe within an hour, which will be nice because it's been overcast here for several days. Hey, uh, 73, thank you for the call, and uh, and uh, we'll, I hope you have a good week uh, coming up. Whiskey Zero, uh, Juliet Radio, Juliet, W1ZY. Uh, hey, Roger, Bill, 73, bud, and uh, thank you for the contact. This is Whiskey Zero, JRJ, I'm clear. 10 over 9, uh, W1ZY. Victor Echo 3, Hotel Tango, Foxtrot. VE3 Hotel Tango Fox, you're 59 plus 5 in Rhode Island, over. Okay, yeah, fine business there, Bill. We're here is Paul, Paul Bell, Uniform Lima, Fisherville, Ontario, uh, just outside, about 120 kilometers south of Toronto on, on the shores of Lake Erie. Got you here about 20 over, 20 over, running a, uh, a uh, long wire, 240 feet long, about uh, 50 feet up, and then uh, I can switch over to another antenna here, just one second. And I uh, got another antenna on here now. It's a 40 meter delta loop. Go ahead. Yeah, the um, first antenna is 10 over 9, and the delta loop is about uh, 2 or 3 dB over. Uh, both loud signals, but uh, for me, 
uh, the um, the first antenna is better. Um, uh, over. Yeah, fine business. We're back on that antenna now. So, yeah, nice, uh, nice hearing you there. Nice clean signal there. I, saw, I heard you were trying to get down, uh, make some contacts down the south there, and I uh, uh, wish you the best of luck on that. And thanks for getting back to me. Appreciate it. No problem. You're uh, 15 over, uh, Paul. Uh, just incredible. 73s, and uh, have a nice week. W1 said why. Alpha Delta 4, is it Zulu Sierra? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you call Alpha Delta 4, and I missed the last part. Over. Okay, Zed and AD4 Zed and yeah, you're not too not chop liver yourself. You're uh, 59 plus 10 here into uh, Rhode Island as I type you in. Uh, name is Bill Bravo India Lima Lima, AD4 Zulu November W1 Zy. Thanks for the contact. Thank you, uh, W1 Zy. Delta. Kilo One God uh, GD, uh, go ahead over. All right, uh, Kilo One Golf Delta, W1ZY, good to hear you coming in, Gene. You're about a, a 57, 58. A five seven five eight here into Rhode Island, and you got the name correct as Bill. Yeah, uh, uh, we're uh, we're definitely in nighttime now. Uh, we don't have any more any more light in the sky after a, a ra rather nice sunset here about a half hour ago, Gene. Uh, down to you, uh, Kilo One Golf Delta W One said what? Hey, okay, W One said what? The roof on there, Bill. Uh, well, I just thought I'd give you a call. I just got back from the. Uh Very good, Gene, and I hope those uh, photos uh, turn out uh, good uh, from the um, uh, from the outing. Seventy uh, three from Rhode Island, and uh, have a nice week coming up. Jo uh, Kilo One Golf Delta W One said what? Seventy three, Bill. Hey, Rhode Island, do you hear Tennessee? Rhode Island, do you copy Tennessee? Roger. W three T H I Jackson, Tennessee. Oh, I guess it's been 40 years since I've talked to Rhode Island. I, I was a Marylander uh, all my life, but the last 14 years I was moved down here to, to uh, Jackson, Tennessee. So uh, tell me, uh, I'm 87, and uh, how long have you been a uh, ham up there, over? Uh, Lou, uh, my name is Bill. Uh, you're, by the way, you're about uh, five over nine. I've been a ham uh, for uh, over 45 years, over. Oh, that's good. I was the license in 52 as a novice with this call. So that's a, a long time. <laughs> but I uh, I got out of electronics uh, for about 20 years. 
I bought an airplane and I took up flying very seriously. I flew for 50 years. Eventually, I got back to ham radio, you know, uh, a little stronger than I uh, than I uh, was previously. But I've had some great contacts. Uh, I wonder if you've had any rare ones uh, where you've been a big help to people over. Uh, I remember in the uh, Iraq War, uh, when that thing started up in the, uh, it was, must have been the early 2000s or so, or 2002 or something, some sort of a thing that was going on over there. Uh, I uh, worked a guy in Iraq, uh, a soldier, and he wanted to uh, uh, pass a message back uh, to his uh, family. And instead of um, uh, writing it down, I told him to, to tell the message I was going to record it. And then I uh, sent the email uh, to the parents. Uh, he gave me their address. And that was a pretty good one uh, to help out. And then another, about three years ago, there was that uh, uh, some kind of a storm in Puerto Rico. And I was here sitting on 40 meters at night. And somebody in Puerto Rico called up and asked me to call somebody up in, like, Chicago. Uh, his daughter or something, his granddaughter or something. And so I did. I got her on the iPhone, and I put her on speakerphone, and they uh, went at it in Spanish for a little while. And she was crying because she didn't know whether everybody was okay and all this stuff. So you have these uh, these types of little um, highlights uh, uh, coming through, uh, Lou, uh, and um, uh, just out of the blue. Uh, Whiskey 3, Tango Hotel, India, W1 Zulu Yankee. W1 Zulu Yankee, W3 THI. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, I had a few of them over my lifetime. Uh, quite unique. Uh, I'll share a couple with you. When phone patches were first in their infancy, uh, of course, I was uh, very young then. Uh, I didn't buy uh, uh, some of the items. But I wanted I wanted a phone patch, uh, and I was on the air with the EF Johnson number one, Johnson Viking one. And I ran across a fellow down in the Panama Canal Zone, and uh, I was talking to him about a phone patch, and it turned out he was an audio engineer. And I didn't know it. And uh, he said, uh, would you like to make one? I said, yes. He said, well, you know, here's, here's how you do it. Get a hold of an old 350 volt transformer. And uh, these are the things that you'll need, a Bradley uh, uh, fed geometer. Couple of two and a half millihenry RF scope and some bypass capacitors. And uh, the uh, 6.3 lead, he said, would go to the speaker of your receiver. And the, uh, uh, the, uh, the high voltage would go to the input of the microphone uh, uh, in this device. And uh, the 5 volt uh, lead would go to the telephone line. And uh, that's essentially what he was telling me. And I thanked him, and I said, well, what's your name? And, you know, at 87 right now, I'm fighting. <laughs> yeah, he's a famous name. Uh, Glenn was his name, G-L-E-N. I said, well, thank you, Glenn. I said, what's your last name? He says, Glenn Glenn. I said, you mean your first name and your last name the same? He said, yes. He said, uh, 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 G-L-E-N, first name, G-L-E-N, and last name. Well, I, I was amazed, and I've never forgotten it, and it turned out that uh, in those days, on every single motion picture that came out around that time, along with some of the television, television sitcoms like uh, Mayberry, uh, Andy and Mayberry, you'll see his name as the sound engineer for all those movies. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that, uh, uh, Lou, over. Yeah, that was one. And now uh, this is a doozy here. Uh, a white magazine on the cover many years ago had a uh, ship that was sinking in the North Atlantic photographed and put on the front cover. And up on the bridge, the front, up on one of the smoke stacks, was the first mate and the captain trying to hold a salvage right because the ship was rolled over and everybody abandoned it, but he and his first mate stayed there. 
And the name of the captain was Captain Kurt Carlson. Well, it turns out that uh, before this happened, uh, he was uh, down in the Panama area calling CP to California on an emergency because one of the people on board the ship was sick and they needed to know how to make the medicine to help him. And he couldn't raise California. Now, in those days, I had an E.F. Johnson kilowatt to console with a three element mostly best pocket beam. And so uh, I called the captain and asked him to give me the name of the doctor, and I got the phone number in California, much like you did. Called the doctor, got him on a phone pad to the captain, and uh, I thanked everybody, they thanked me. And so I got a QSL card here, a best photograph, and a little thank you note from Kurt Carlson. And he was exonerated for any damage done to the ship. Whatever happened was not his fault, over. Well, very good. That's a uh, that's a very nice uh, contact, uh, Lou Over. And the flying Enterprise was really nice. Uh, with the same gear that I had, <coughs> the kilowatt, on the uh, island of Guam, was a Navy captain, a party, a Navy commander. His name was Commander Fletcher. I still remember it. He was calling a new phone pad to Arlington, Virginia. And Arlington, Virginia was only about 15 air miles from where my home was in the Maryland area near the D.C. line. So I answered him, and I, I, I spoke with him briefly and, and got his phone number. He wanted to talk to his family, and I put it through, and he talked. And when everybody was finished, he said to me, do you need anything? <laughs> what do you mean? He said, well, I'm the commander at the Naval Gun Factory in Washington, D.C., and I'm coming home on furlough in two weeks, and I'd like you to come down. I'd like to meet you, and if you need anything, you just kill me. Well, I said, you know, I could use a couple of hundred feet of RCHQ. He said, okay, you come down there, and I'll give it to you. So I went down to the Naval Gun Factory. He hands it to me, and he says, what do you do, Lou? I said, well, I just got out of Capitol Radio. Engineering Institute, I said, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm looking for some work. He said, well, would you like to work here at the gun factory, over? And did you take the job, Lou? No, I did not. It was too, too long of a haul from my home to the gun factory. But I wound up as a station engineer for uh, an AMFM uh, family uh, 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 radio station for about uh, 10 weeks. When the owner came in, and he said to me, look, how much am I paying you? I said, $65 a week. He said, how would you like to make some really nice money? I said, well, that would be nice. He said, well, page engineers need the person exactly like you. Somebody just out of school, they're looking for technicians. And here's the address, and I think you should go. You'll get quite an education, and you're going to make big money. So I went down. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, it was in the middle of Washington, D.C., right near the White House, uh, was a little uh, uh, a building with a second floor. And I went up there and uh, waited for the interview, and it was about 10 or 15 of us, all young fellas, sitting around on the floor and so forth. It was just a small room. And in walked the chief engineer for Baby Communication Engineers. And he was just a little fella, but he was quite big in the engineering industry. And he says, to, he says to, hello, and we says, hi. Right. So how many of you are doing handy robbing? So everybody put their hands up. He says, now, how many of you have first phone tickets? And I had mine up. He says, everybody with a first phone, you're hired. <laughs> so we didn't even know what was going on. It turned out what they did, uh, Collins Radio made a 50,000 watt and a 100,000 watt transmitter that was on the broadcast frequency. And when WWB vacated 30 megacycles, the government allowed page engineers to put these two units with new tank circuits up on 30 megacycles. And uh, that's what we did, and then we shipped it over to Goose Bay, Labrador, 